Welcome back to That Was History. I'm your host, Cliff Langston. As you are probably well aware, governments change and evolve all the time. There are always groups of people dissatisfied with the way things are, and due to this, the ruling government is eventually overthrown. This happened to the Ottomans, the Romans, and who knows where the world will end up in the future. Speaking of the Romans, let's take a look at the last emperor of the Western Roman Empire. For many, Romulus Augustulus is considered the last emperor of the Western Roman Empire. To be honest, there isn't anything impressive to credit to his name. In fact, his tale is quite ironic. Prior to Romulus Augustulus, Julius Nepos was the ruling emperor. Nepos was overthrown by Romulus's father, Orestus, who was the master of the military. With Nepos out of the way, Orestus placed Romulus into power. He was only a figurehead for his father's bidding, however, as he would never make a single decision based off of his own free will. Here's where the irony kicks in. After only 10 short months of being emperor, Romulus Augustulus was overthrown by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer. This would result in the execution of Romulus's father and Romulus was exiled to Campania. Shortly after this event, the history of Romulus drops off. The rest of his life is unknown and we can't even say with certainty when he died. This was truly a sad and embarrassing moment in Roman history. Thanks for stopping by for today's episode. Be sure to hit that like button and share us with your friends and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you again next time.